master right here is going to teach you how to sway your shoulders, your hips, and your foot at the same time and being on balance. It's going to look like a check hook. It is a check hook, but you don't have to throw the hook to be effective at all. It's a great defensive move and this floating object right here, the boxing glove will show you how to get off the line and if it touches you, you didn't get off the line so you've officially been punched. So once again, the hook is good and the check hook and all, but you don't need that hook. It's still a very effective move and I'm going to show you why. So I'll let you in on my secret when I do this drill. My focus is to look at the boxing glove. I want to be able to look at the boxing glove so that means I have to turn my shoulders, my hip, and my foot and do it correctly or I'm not going to be able to look at it. And also my aim is for the boxing glove not to hit me too. So I'm just stating the obvious for people who don't know. Now that cross on the floor, those two jump ropes I put together, that's gonna add another dynamic to it. So we don't want you stepping all over the rope and messing it up. Put your left foot into that other square. If your uh, the other stance is gonna be your right foot, you feel me? And that goal is to be efficient, to look at the glove, and to be smooth with it. The goal is to be smooth. If it takes a thousand repetitions, then that's what it takes, you feel me? It takes what it takes. Get comfortable being uncomfortable, it's all good. So now once you get comfortable with everything, you're looking smooth, you feel like you've done enough to add your hook. So add that hook at the end. What I would like to do is pause it, that way you know you're on balance, because balance is very important. Without balance, you can't do much, and you're gonna look stiff and sloppy, buddy. So do this drill uh, today, tomorrow. Just do it this week, please. Let's go.